Ever wondered how the food you eat impacts your blood pressure? Stick around to find out and potentially transform your health. Before we jump in, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to our channel and comment below with your own experiences or questions about blood pressure and diet. Engaging with our content helps us bring more useful health advice to you. What we eat plays a crucial role in our overall health, specifically affecting our blood pressure. Today, we're going to explore exactly how certain foods influence blood pressure levels, both positively and negatively. In this video, we'll break down the components of a diet that can lead to increased blood pressure, as well as foods that are beneficial in maintaining or lowering blood pressure. Understanding these can help you make informed dietary choices. We'll also highlight some common misconceptions about diet and blood pressure, ensuring you can distinguish between myths and facts. This knowledge is essential for managing or improving your blood pressure through diet. Now, let's get into the details. Your blood pressure can be significantly influenced by your salt intake. Consuming too much salt can cause the body to retain water, which increases blood pressure. It's not just about adding salt at the table. Many processed foods contain high levels of hidden salt. Potassium is another key player. It helps balance the amount of salt in your body, and a diet low in potassium can lead to high blood pressure. Foods rich in potassium include bananas, potatoes, avocados, and spinach. On the flip side, consuming certain fats can influence your blood pressure. Trans fats and saturated fats, often found in baked goods and fried foods, can contribute to artery clogging, which increases blood pressure. But it's not all bad news. Omega-3 fatty acids, found in fish like salmon and mackerel, can actually help lower blood pressure by reducing inflammation and thinning the blood. Dairy products can also have an impact. While high-fat dairy products can contribute to high blood pressure, low-fat options like skimmed milk and yogurt might actually benefit your blood pressure thanks to their high calcium content. Fiber-rich foods like whole grains, fruits, and vegetables can improve blood pressure by improving digestion and reducing the absorption of cholesterol. This, in turn, helps keep your arteries clear and your blood pressure in check. Moreover, the role of sugar in blood pressure is often underestimated. High sugar intake can lead to weight gain, which is a significant risk factor for high blood pressure. Reducing sugar, especially hidden sugars in processed foods, is crucial. Caffeine is another dietary component to watch. While a small amount might temporarily increase blood pressure, the long-term effects of high caffeine consumption can be more problematic, especially if you are sensitive to it. Alcohol, too, can affect your blood pressure. While moderate alcohol consumption might have some health benefits, excessive drinking can lead to sustained high blood pressure and other health issues. Understanding the glycemic index of the foods you eat can also be beneficial. Foods with a high glycemic index can cause blood sugar spikes, which can indirectly affect blood pressure by influencing insulin levels. Additionally, hydration plays a vital role in maintaining healthy blood pressure. Adequate water intake helps to flush sodium out of the body and keeps your blood vessels running smoothly. Lastly, the overall pattern of your diet matters. Diets like the DASH, dietary approaches to stop hypertension, and the Mediterranean diet are renowned for their positive effects on blood pressure and overall heart health. By incorporating these dietary changes and being mindful of the nutrients and substances that impact blood pressure, you can take significant steps towards managing or improving your blood pressure through diet alone. Remember, these changes do not have to be overwhelming. Even small adjustments can make a big difference in your health. In managing blood pressure through diet, the first step is reducing your salt intake. 
Swap regular table salt for herbs and spices to enhance flavor without adding sodium. This simple change can help lower the volume of blood, easing pressure on your arteries. Next, increase your intake of potassium, rich foods. Adding items like bananas, sweet potatoes and spinach can counteract the effects of sodium and help maintain a healthy blood pressure level. Potassium helps balance the amount of fluid in your body, which is crucial for keeping your blood pressure in check. Incorporating more fibre into your diet is another effective step. Foods high in fibre, such as oats, apples and carrots, can help lower blood pressure by improving cholesterol levels and maintaining a healthy weight. This also aids in digestion and keeps your heart healthy. Limiting alcohol consumption is vital. While small amounts can have a beneficial effect, excessive drinking can lead to an increase in blood pressure. Aim for moderation, which typically means no more than one drink a day for women and two for men. Regularly consuming fatty fish rich in omega-3 fatty acids like mackerel and salmon can significantly benefit your blood pressure. These fats help reduce inflammation and prevent the formation of blood clots, which can lower the risk of heart diseases. Be mindful of your caffeine intake. If you are sensitive to caffeine, try reducing your coffee or tea consumption to see if your blood pressure decreases. High blood pressure sufferers might benefit from switching to decaffeinated options. Consider adopting a structured diet plan like the DASH diet. This diet emphasizes vegetables, fruits, and low-fat dairy products, along with moderate amounts of whole grains, fish, poultry, and nuts. Numerous studies have shown its effectiveness in lowering blood pressure. Hydration should not be overlooked. Drinking plenty of water daily helps flush sodium from your body and keeps your blood vessels dilated. Sometimes dehydration can cause blood vessels to constrict, raising blood pressure. Before we move on to the rest of the video, if you are finding this helpful, please like, subscribe and comment as it really helps this video reach a wider audience. Here is a case study that illustrates how dietary changes can significantly affect blood pressure. John, a 52-year-old man from Manchester, was diagnosed with hypertension. His initial blood pressure readings were consistently around 150-95 mAg, which is considered high. After consulting with his GP, John decided to make substantial changes to his diet instead of starting on medication immediately. He began by drastically reducing his salt intake, avoiding processed foods and cooking fresh meals at home. John also increased his consumption of fruits and vegetables and started incorporating more whole grains into his meals. Within three months, his blood pressure had lowered to an average of 130-85 mAg. His doctor was pleased with the progress and encouraged John to continue with his new lifestyle. If you're looking to manage your blood pressure through diet, here are some practical steps you can follow. Start by assessing your current eating habits and identify areas where you can make improvements, such as reducing salt and increasing your intake of fresh produce and whole grains. It's also helpful to keep a food diary to track what you eat and monitor how it affects your blood pressure. Engaging in regular physical activity complements, dietary changes and can further help in managing blood pressure. Aim for at least 150 minutes of moderate intensity exercise, such as brisk walking or cycling, every week. Lastly, regular checkups with your healthcare provider can provide you with feedback and support in managing your blood pressure. If you found this video helpful, please do hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. Your support really helps us bring more health-related content to you and is greatly appreciated. Thank you for watching.